E. Subtraction, uh, addition. Wow, easy? Yes, it's so easy for you. So I have prepared here a PowerPoint for you to see. <clears throat> so you said it's easy. So what do you know about addition? What are the parts of addition? Is traveling adding cities to other cities. What? Okay, so please turn your textbook on page 16. Okay, get ready. But before we start with that, I would like to remind you that the parts of addition are the following. One, the addends. Everybody say addends. Addends. Okay, the addends. second, the second addends. part is the sum or the total. So example, sum, mm -hmm, sum or you can say total. So example, if the, if the equation is 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, okay, look, if the equation is 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, where is the addends and where is the sum? Okay, so look at the arrows. The addends are 4 and 5. They are called, they are called addends. While the answer of the addition operation is called the sum or the total. Okay, now close your eyes and say addends plus addend equals sum. Addend, addend plus addend, addend equals sum. Yes, okay. Addends. So sometimes addends with letter S because there are two addends. Sometimes there are three addends or more. So now let's go back to our textbook. Okay, let's begin with adding two numbers. Okay, on page, okay, let me get my textbook first. Okay, textbook. On, okay, on page 16, the first example is the, the two add in 693,522 plus 69,462 equals blank. That's the number sentence. When adding up two numbers, make sure that you arrange the numbers in two rows, two rows. Okay, when you say two rows, okay, when you say two rows, like this, two rows, this is the first row, and then this is the second row. So the digits in the same place value. So again, do not forget the same value. The same value are here, like this. This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, Ten thousands, hundred thousands. You notice that they are properly arranged. Okay, they are properly arranged. So two plus two is equal to four. Two plus six is equal to eight. Five plus four is equal to nine. Three plus nine is equal to two. Uh, Twelve carry one or one over nine. 1 plus 9 plus 6 or 6 plus 9 plus 1 or 9 plus 1 plus 6 because of the commutative property, it's equal to 16. So 1 over 6, 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. Okay, so the answer is the sum is 762,894. It's quite easy for you because you, you finished this already when you were in grade 3. Okay, next. Okay, I want to ask you like more examples before we proceed to some of, before we proceed to our textbook, okay. 
Pantat, please turn on your microphone and answer this. So 336,215 plus 14,902. Okay. Okay, Pantot, you can you can answer now. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Mm -hmm. 1 plus Zero equal one. Two plus nine equal eleven. Six plus four equal ten plus one. Three plus one equal four and add one. Three plus zero equal three. Okay, the sum is, the sum is, you read, the sum is, the sum is. 351,117. And 17, very good, okay. Very good. So I think all of you are okay with this kind of example, okay? So let's move to the next part of our textbook, okay? Okay, A adding three numbers, okay? Adding three numbers or three add-ins. So our example here is, okay, so let me see, let me tell you this. The three numbers or the three add-ins, first add-in, the second add-in, plus the third add-in. So the easiest or, and the fastest way is the method one, because there are two methods. So let's start with the first method or method one. So you have to write all the three numbers at the same time and then add this all together, okay? So seven plus four plus two is 13, one on top of one, 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, carry 1. We say carry 1 in the Philippines. I don't know if here in Thailand you also say carry. We have to carry 1 to the, to the, next, uh, to the next place value, right? So 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5, it's 10. So carry 1. 1 plus 3 plus 9, that is 13, carry 1. 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2, 12 carry 1. 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 9. So this is the total or the sum. Okay. Another method. Let's go to uh, let's go to method number two. So method number two is this. Using the same uh, number sentence, you can add up first the two numbers. Okay, then add the third. Okay, so it's up to you. You can add the, the first and the second add in first, and then you add the answer to the third add in. Okay, look. First and second. So seven plus four, one. One plus five, one. Uh, seven, four, 12, carry one. 10, carry 1, 8. And then you have to write this here, 802471. And then you have to write the first two numbers like this. 1 plus 2 is 3, 10, carry 1, 10, carry 1, 3, 2, and 9. So we got the same sum or total. So using either method one or method two is up to you. Okay? Show me your thumbs up if that is okay. Okay. Next. Now let's proceed to the next page. 
Okay, the next page is this. The second example is 432,700 plus 154,823 plus 74,810 is equal to blank. So method one is you have to write all together the three addends. Okay, so there are three rows. So one row, second row, and the third row. And then zero plus three plus zero is three. Zero plus two plus one is three. Seven plus eight plus eight is 23, carry two. Two plus two, four plus four, eight plus four, 12. So two, carry one. One plus three, four plus five, nine plus seven, 16. Six, carry one. One plus four plus one, six. Okay, teacher is very fast, I'm sorry. The second method, okay, let's go now to the second method. The second method is just like what I said, you have add this two addends first. So this one, okay. So zero plus three is three. Zero plus three is three. Zero plus two is two. Seven plus eight is five. Two, 15 carry one, seven, eight, and five. So this is now the answer. Now you copy the third. This one is the third. So three plus zero is three, two plus one is three, five plus eight is 13, carry one. Uh, one plus seven, eight plus four is 12, carry one. Teacher, one plus eight, do. nine plus seven is 16. Wait, no, just listen to teacher first. Relax, sit down. Okay, and watch me, and six. Okay, because you just finished having your lunch. So you notice that both of them equal to is equal to 662,333. So any method, either of these two methods can be used up to you. Kran, let me ask you, what method do you prefer? Kran, what method do you prefer? Prefer means do you like better or do you like more? More. Uh, method one or method two? I like method hmm. two. Okay, so it's up to you. As long as you get because, the same. Because, because why? Because it good. No, teacher, because on grade one, we do like this two. We don't do three. We uh. don't do like method one. Yes. We do like two, two. If we get the answer of two number first, mm -hmm. we will get we will get that answer to plus or minus with another. That's right. Okay, so it's up to you yeah. to use. Since you are grade four already, you should change to using method one. Ah. But if you still prefer to use method two, then this is not a big problem. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's proceed to the next uh, example. Okay. I'm going to teach you the properties of addition. Properties of addition. Everybody say properties of addition. Properties of addition. addition. Okay, what, is, what are these all about? What are these all about? When you say properties of addition, the characteristics of addition. Okay, it describes the addition. So let's concentrate first with the word commutative. Property of addition. Everybody say Commutative. Commutative. Other pronounce this word as commutative. Okay. Commutative. Commutative. But others, commutative. But others pronounce this word as commutative. Say it again. Commutative. Commutative. Okay. And then the second one is the associative property of addition or the 
associative. Everybody pronounce it. Associative. Associative. So you have to remember there are two, there are two properties, the commutative and the associative properties of addition. Let's try to explain what is what is commutative first. Okay, let's concentrate with the commutative first, later associative. You listen to teacher first. Okay. If we switch the positions 